What's up guys, Rogue9 here. Recently I've been enjoying some Battlefield 5 and probably my favourite class so far is the support. As a support you have the unique ability to build static defences which can be a real asset to your team and I feel that this capability is still a little overlooked. So in this new video series I want to go over some of the best machine gun, AA and anti-tank gun positions you can build in the game right now as well as some of the worst. Static machine guns are okay in the current state of the game, but AA and anti-tank cannons are great for both ambushing enemy vehicles as well as infantry at medium to long ranges. So let's take a look at what you can build on each of the maps in turn, starting out with Aerodrome. The way that this is going to work is that I will give a brief personal evaluation of each static weapon position in terms of their potential risk versus reward payoff, and why don't we just go across the map from east to west. Starting over on the German side near the Fox Conquest capture point, there is a machine gun that can be built in the shelter on top of the southeastern ridge and this HMG is not only in a great position for contesting the Fox Cap, but can also look along the northwestern edge of the central hangar, so Charlie Cap, and even all the way over to Bravo Cap. Kind of. To be fair, the view of the destroyed aircraft parking area is mostly obscured to you, so the best you might hope for is to get a couple of shots into someone lingering at the entrance to Bravo. But the point-blank cover of Fox and all along the side of Charlie is quite useful, so this MG is definitely worth constructing in my opinion. But since this position is so easily accessible from the German spawn to the northeast, it's basically of very little value to the British side. You would be taking a significant risk by using it and I would not recommend staying here for more than a minute or so. If we move towards the centre of the map, there is a sizeable defensive position that you can construct in the dried out riverbed not far from the tower. Beside earth defences and sandbags, this position includes anti-tank hedgehogs facing towards the east, which are great at slowing down German tank reinforcements. The east-facing machine gun you can construct here though is not very useful. Enemies can basically use the high ground to their advantage on both the north and the south, and the only real value this MG provides is covering the valley in front of you. I would call this position the perfect blend of high risk, low reward. If you're ever looking to lower your KD, this position is the ideal place to get taken out over and over again without any real chance of fighting back. The west facing machine gun in the same position is not much better. First of all, you can't actually get into this gun as long as the dirt cover is still there. Yep, that's some effective cover right there. I would expect this to get fixed at some point, but even when you can access this gun, you have the same problem as before. Loads of cover for the approaching enemy to use against you and limited sight lines for you. The most you can hope for here is to have a few unsuspecting enemies come up the dried riverbed towards you, but my general advice advice for this position would also be avoid. Just above this position though on the airfield plateau is the one and only AT gun you can construct on this map. If you're playing on the German side this gun can provide you with some interesting angles covering pretty much the entire approach from Bravo Cap until about halfway to Fox. Vehicles attempting to rush across the northern high ground or along the road will be an easy target for you and you can even lob shells all the way into Bravo and onto the western plateau overlooking Bravo. You're very vulnerable to infantry moving up on you along the aircraft parking area from Charlie, Delta or Echo, but as long as your team is active there you should be relatively safe. As the British side, you're probably not going to get a lot of use out of this gun unless you have Germans passing you from Foxtrot and heading towards Bravo, and getting taken out by opponents spawning and pushing from Echo is even more of a threat. So I would say that this gun is mostly there for the Germans, which actually makes it quite surprising that the gun is a British 6-pounder rather than a German Pack 40. We're on a German airfield, on the German side of the map, with a gun that is mostly useful for the German side, but it's a six pounder. Okay. But cosmetic nitpicking aside, I would highly recommend that you build this gun when you're playing on the German side and use it to slow the enemy push from Bravo to Fox. Heading just a little bit further west, fairly close to the well-known Tower by Charlie, we find another machine gun that is perfectly positioned to rain down some lead on Fox, as well as covering some of the approaches into Fox from the west. 
Despite the decent sightlines though, I have some concerns around the risk reward ratio of this position. Turning your back on Charlie and Delta leaves you incredibly open to just being shot in the back by passing infantry so the risk is high here. As for utility, you're facing one of the German home caps from the middle of the map so this position is only really viable if you're on the British side and the opposing team have been pushed all the way back to Fox and Echo. If that is the case, you can definitely provide some covering fire for your pushing teammates or to slow down the enemy breakout. I suppose if you're being backcapped as a German, you could also use this MG to harass the infantry taking Fox, but you're still taking a risk if you stay here too long. Summary, this is not a bad position, but very situational. Three more machine guns to go, one at the westernmost corner of Charlie and this is a defensive position overlooking the Bravo cap and the valley in between. This position can be very useful to have up and running early on in the breakthrough game mode as a defender or late in the front lines mode. Building up the earth defenses will provide you with protection against enemies in Bravo but still the position is maybe a little close to Bravo cap for my liking since that makes you more vulnerable to small arms counterfire. In Conquest, this machine gun becomes a whole different matter. As the central cap point, Charlie will be pretty much continuously contested and the southern high ground that runs between Alpha and Delta is crawling with snipers and other infantry on a constant basis. Just recording a few seconds of footage showing off the firing arc of this HMG during a live Conquest match took several attempts, so while the gun can be effective, it is just far too exposed to allow anyone to really get any use out of it. So yeah, if you're playing Conquest, I'd give this one a miss. To the south of here, in a shelter up on the ridge, is the first stationery that is actually useful and relatively safe to use for the British side. The sightlines you have with this gun are relatively limited. You can see the western entrance of the main hangar and the south facing exterior wall, but this is a very high traffic area so I would say that this gun can be decently effective. In addition to that, you also have a reasonable amount of cover, just be aware of enemies sneaking up behind you along the ridge from Delta or Alpha Caps. And last but not least, just to the southwest of Bravo Cap, you will find a machine gun position that is very easily accessible by the British side and provides a bit of a mixed bag in terms of effective arcs of fire. Firing towards Charlie, the enemy will actually have a lot of cover from you and they can pop out and gun you down. Not all that great for you, but when you swing the gun around to your left, you will actually have a very clear line of sight all the way to Fox Cap raining down some long-range covering fire as your team push up onto the radar station can be useful for sure as long as Bravo is securely held and Charlie is at least contested so that you don't get rushed at close range. In Conquest it might be challenging to find the right time to use this MG but I can definitely see it coming in handy during the third phase of a breakthrough match when playing as the attackers. So in summary, there are a few useful positions to construct on Aerodrome and a couple that are pretty bad. The MG overlooking Charlie from the Southern Ridge can be quite handy, especially for the British side, while the Germans basically get dedicated use of the one behind Foxtrot. The German side also get pretty good access to the AT gun on the central aircraft parking area and from there they can exercise great long range control across the northern approach leading out from Bravo. Other than that, most of the remaining MGs can offer occasional value with a certain risk of being flanked. Except for those two down in the dried riverbed, yeah, I, I think it's probably best to avoid those. High risk, low reward trade offs are never really a great deal. And that is pretty much all you need to know about constructible stationary weapons on the aerodrome map. Which map would you like to see discussed next? Leave your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next episode.